today's video is on the latest Mini GT release for April. I got the pair of Mercedes-Benz 190e Evo 2. Two are very identical casting with the exception of the racing number and the driver. The Pandem Toyota GR Supra in advanced livery and also the highly anticipated Toyota TRD 3000 GT in Alpine Silver Metallic. And now let's take a closer look at the Mercedes 190e which is also the Berlin 1992 DTM Soda race car. This will be the new packaging design going forward, authentication and license decal, standard description, and the 190E is a left-hand drive. Very nice details, but upon close-up, what I immediately see is the imperfection on the grille, Notice the black area on the grille is a cut from the assembly factory. As the grille is a separate component, I believe the factory worker has to manually cut it. Hence, you can see the imperfection and also the chrome loss. Also, this particular band's emblem seems slightly off and perhaps a little bit tilted. I will try to avoid contact for this emblem in case for breakage. Meanwhile, I'll try to get a replacement for this particular casting. Livery wise, it's stunning. You can see a lot of signature from the athletes and celebrities. I did a rough research for this casting. The deco is the bid to try to push Germany for the 2000 Olympics. Hence, you can see the Olympic ring that's incorporated with Berlin 2000. Realistic wheel sets that looks very classic, that rolls extremely well. Very nice body paint for the whole casting, including a very detailed rear. Plastic insert rear lights with very sharp livery. What really stands out for this 190E is definitely on the deco and the livery. And being a mid price category casting, I must say the finishing is really awful, especially for the assembly of the grille. The quality control should be more stringent. You will not notice if you look at it from afar, but from extreme close up, the arrow is there. Next, the 190E variation with the racing number 6. Upon close-up, identical scenario as the racing number 5. Take note of the cut of the grille, it looks really terrible. The Mercedes emblem seems okay this time, it's identical to my previous release. Also take note of the emblem, you can see this is dropped lower for racing number 5, while the emblem for racing number 6 is much higher, so definitely there's a difference. Elastic side mirror which has the same body color, difference is the racing number, the driver name, and also the blue trimmings versus the yellow for racing number 5. Apart from the terrible finishing, the Mercedes 190E is a pretty awesome casting. Mini GT include the emblem, while many other makers try to avoid it. But the overall finishing still need to be improved. Next, the Pandem Toyota GR Supra with the advanced livery. Very loud color on the packaging in red and gum metal. The GR Supra is a left-hand drive casting. Wow, looking very cool, very striking. I like the GR Supra in high gloss black. It makes the casting looks very premium, like in the showroom piece. The loud Evan logo is supplied on the hood, followed by the distinctive Evan red stripes that's very popular with many collectors. Realistic wheel sets that rolls extremely well. Very sharp reverse white livery that is very legible. Elastic side mirror as always, the gel with the casting. Impressive rear with plastic insert rear lights. The advanced logo type livery is very accurately aligned. Overall, the Toyota Supra is very well presented with the advanced livery. The livery is ever popular with collectors, and the Supra will definitely sit well with everybody and also look stunning in diecast photography. Next, the highly anticipated Toyota TRD 3000 GT. The 3000 GT is in Alpine Silver Metallic. It's a right-hand drive casting. Wow, the 3000 GT looks stunning. It's based on the 4th generation Toyota Supra. The silver paint is definitely iconic. Nice execution on the headlights that gel with the body curve. Realistic 5 spokes wheel sets that rolls extremely well. Elastic side mirror that gel with the body color. My only comment is the silver paint that looks a bit coarse in terms of textures. The rear light is painted just like the previous Toyota Supra. Nice details on the exhaust for a mid-price category casting. The 3000 GT looks awesome. 
This casting is based on the iconic car and if you are a Supra fan, you definitely wouldn't want to miss this. Overall, the 3000 GT is the highlight for this month release and it's also new tooling that will be a very nice variant to your Supra collection. And don't forget to check out my second channel, Hot Customs Unboxing. You can refer to the link down below in my comment section and check out my second channel for more contents. Thanks everyone. Bye.